Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. What we have here, we take x raised to power 6 to the left hand side, and we have x raised to power 6 minus x raised to power 6 equals to 0 here. The next step here, we can write this as x raised to power 3 or raised to power 2 minus. Also here, 8 raised to power 3, then all raised to power 2, as 2 times 3 here give us 6. Same thing here, which is equals to 0 here. The next step here, this follows when we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b, into brackets, and open brackets, a minus b. As this here, a standing as x raised to power 3. And b standing as 8 raised to power 3. Then what we have here, follow this and becomes x raised to power 3 plus 8 raised to power 3 into brackets, then open brackets x raised to power 3 minus 8 raised to power 3 plus brackets equals to 0 here. Then here, we have two possible cases. The first one, x raised to power 3 plus a raised to power 3 equals to 0. Or we have x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side. This follows what we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3. Which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open brackets, a squared minus ab plus b squared. That is, here, what we have becomes x plus 8 into brackets, then open brackets, x squared minus 8x plus 8 square close brackets equals to 0 here. Then, this same thing as x plus 8 into brackets, then open brackets, x square minus 8x plus 8 square, that's 64, close brackets equals to 0 here. At this here, we have two possible cases, x plus 8 equals to 0, or we have x squared minus 8x plus 64 equals to 0 here. Then, next step here. Solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 8, which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 8, and c equals to 64. Then applying the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Then what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 60. Or then over 2 times 1. That is, here we have x equals to minus times minus is plus, that's 8, then plus or minus square root of minus 8 squared, that's 64. Then minus, here we can still leave this as 4 times 64, and all over 2. Then, next step, we have x equals to 8 plus or minus square root of. 64 is common here. We have 64 into bracket 1 minus 4, then over 2 here. That is, this same thing as x equals to 8 plus or minus square root of 64 times 1 minus 4, that's minus 3, all over 2. That is, when we separate this with 64, that's 8, and we have x equals to 8 plus or minus 8. Then root minus 3, we have root 3i. 
all over 2. Now this here, we can write as x equals to 2 into brackets. Here remain 4 plus or minus 4 root 3i all over 2, which implies that these two cancel each other. And we have x equals to 4 plus or minus 4 root 3i. That is, we have two complex solutions here. Then, solving from the second case here, this follows when we have a raised to the power 3 minus b raised to the power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into bracket, then open bracket a squared plus ab plus b squared. That is, what we have here becomes x minus 8 into brackets, then open brackets, x squared plus 8x plus 8 squared plus brackets equals to 0 here. At this here, this same thing as x minus 8 into brackets, then open bracket x squared plus 8x plus 8 squared that's 64 plus brackets equals to 0 here. At this here, we have two possible cases. We have x minus 8 equals to 0, or we have x squared plus 8x plus 64 equals to 0 here. At this solving on this side, we have x equals to 8, which is a real solution here. Then here, we have a quadratic equation. We have equals to 1, b equals to 8. And C equals to 64. At this, apply the quadratic formula. We have x equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 8 square minus 4 times 1 times 64 over 2 times 1. At this, here yeah, we have x equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of. 8 squared, that's 64, then minus 4 times 1 times 64, that's same thing as 4 times 64, then all over 2. That is, next step here, this becomes x equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 64 is common here, factor it out as 64 into brackets 1 minus 4, plus bracket, then all over 2 here. That is, this becomes x equals to minus 8 plus or minus square root of 64 times 1 minus 4, that's minus 3, all over 2. That is, here we have x equals to minus 8 plus or minus root 64. You take it out, that's 8. Then root minus 3, you have root 3i, all over 2, which also we can write as x equals to 2 into bracket minus 4 plus or minus 4 root 3 high all over 2. That is here. 2 cancel each other. And we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus 4 root 3 i. That is, we also have two complex solutions here. Therefore, all together here, we have six solutions in this problem. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the description bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.